Hello everyone, this is another Flux tutorial video. No, no, no. In this video, let's take a break from Flux and play around with an AI video model. A model you can install locally in your computer. This is the COG video, the model name COG Video X. This text to videos generations models that are using transformer architecture. And here's some information about their research paper. And I'm gonna go through that. Okay, so based on their research paper and documents, here is what they mentioned. Cogvideo X is a recent addition to the field of text-to-video AI models. Developed by researchers from Jipu AI and Tsinghua University, it aims to improve upon existing models in terms of video length, coherence, and motion complexity. Here's the key aspects of Cogvideo X. It utilizes a 3D variational autoencoder to compress video spatially and temporally, which allows for more efficient processing of video data. The model employs an expert transformer architecture designed to better align text and video information. It incorporates several advanced training techniques, including mixed duration training and progressive resolution training. One of the notable features of COG Video X is its ability to generate videos up to 6 seconds long at 720x480 resolution with 8 frames per second. While this may seem modest, it represents a significant improvement in the context of AI-generated video. It's worth noting that the researchers have made part of the model publicly available, which could potentially accelerate further developments in this field. Next, we'll examine some examples of videos generated by COG Video X. These will give us a clearer picture of the model's capabilities and limitations. As we review these examples, I encourage you to think critically about both the potential applications and the challenges this technology might present. Let's take a balanced look at what COG Video X can do. Your computer's hardware requirements may prevent you from running it locally. You can try their Hugging Face Space demo. The description below provides the link. For the Comfy UI local install of COG Video X, here are some requirements and details about their custom node. It requires Diffuser's 0.3 versions, which use the same T5 clip models as SD3. Flux, which uses FP8 or FP16, is also compatible. To save memory, we're going to use FP8. For this AI video generator, VAE decoding appears to load a little high. The VAE decoding process requires approximately 13 to 14 gigabytes of VRM while the sampling process only requires 5 to 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Therefore, the sampling process won't require a significant amount of VRAM, but the VAE decode will require significant processing power. It's important to keep this in mind when processing and compiling videos on local machines. Here are some details and demonstrations of what these AI models are capable of running on local machines. So, go to ComfyUI. Firstly, the Comfy UI Manager does not allow us to directly install this custom node. We've got to be aware of that. We can't do that. Instead, we have to go to the command prompt window and manually install it using git clone, then go back to the main folder. We've got to install Diffuser 0.3 from requirements.txt file. Once we see a successful installation of Diffuser's 0.3, we can go back to our Comfy UI, restart our system, and start playing around with it. Upon initiating the new Comfy UI instance, you will observe the successful installation of the Comfy UI COG Video X wrapper. Then we're ready to go and play around with it. So let's go to the Comfy UI interface. I load the example workflow from their GitHub project. The first time you activate this straightforward text to video workflow, it will automatically download the video models. Another custom sampler, the COG Video Sampler, exclusively runs this AI video model. With Flux, we use the dual clip, but now we're using the load clip. Only one clip model is adequate enough, and we're using the T5XXL FP8 version. Then, we can experiment with it, and in the meantime, I can record without experiencing any lag issues. Once that's done, we can proceed with the cue prompt. As you can see, there's an error message. The default settings of this workflow present some issues. By default, the tile overlap is 2 for the value. We must set it to 8. Then we're ready to start running for the first time. Sometimes in the GitHub project, there are download problems with the code. So rather than using the code, I stop that and manually download, just using Google Chrome to download each file manually. 
That way I can see the progress of how the file download is going. After that, we're going to start again, running the Comfy UI and load this workflow one more time. So here's the compilation of the running sampling steps. Right now, it's not very slow and it doesn't consume a lot of RAM. Honestly, in my system, I'm using a 4090 NVIDIA GPU, but it doesn't use that much memory. So here is the first example. The panda playing guitar looks smooth for cartoon animations and things like that. We can use something for cartoon video clips. Let's try to modify the text prompt a little bit and we'll keep track of the GPU performance. When starting the text, it doesn't raise a lot of memory usage. The 11 gigabytes, that's the time when the VAE decode takes part. So the peak memory time for this in my system is going to be the VAE decode using 12 gigabytes VRAM, and that's all it consumes. Let's try some Sora text prompts. For example, this is a very popular one. Japanese woman walking on the street. And let's see if we can get something like that. And there you go. We got, um, well, uh, the AI model has recognized the text prompt, following through with the concept of what we want from the text prompt. However, it is evident that the quality cannot be directly compared to that of Sora. Let's try this video clip featuring a giant mammal and see how it performs. Okay, that looks like, well, I'll let you guys judge. Let you guys comment about this. I don't have any comments on those mammals. Let's try longer video lengths and see how that goes. Okay, this version looks better, but in some of the final shots, two mammal noses are stuck together on the same head. That's kind of awkward. Well, we just can't compare the quality of these locally installed AI video models. Okay, let's try this. Another famous one, the red hat astronaut guy from Sora. And there you go, we got, wow. At the time I'm recording, I was, <laughs> these are my reactions. And I'll leave it up to you all to comment. I have no comment at all about this, publicly speaking. Let's try another clip. This is another close-up sea view clip. Well, this model is actually doing normally better for this kind of natural landscape. The cartoon, in my opinion, is suitable for use in short videos, as they claim that the maximum duration is 6 seconds. Let's try this California Gold Rush scene. We have clips in the style of the 1960s or 50s available, not really clear. What we see is, is that a human form or an object of what? And let's try this off-road SUV. Off-road, it looks like a Land Rover from Sora. There's also another example on this GitHub page. Hopefully the car doesn't deform or fly away off the hill. Let's see our example here. So, our example is here. Well, luckily that drift out of the corner doesn't fly off the hill. And it's able to keep on the road. Okay, so let's try another one. The drone view. And this one does a little bit better for landscape, sea view, far shot drone view. This AI video model can perform tasks without causing excessive laugh for this kind of video. And this is another workflow example from their GitHub project, which is using video to video and is able to change an object in a generate video result. Let's see how that performs. I haven't tried it before recording these videos and we're testing that for the first time together. So we got the get image and resize those images to the dimensions that it requires for this AI model. It has transformed those input settings from the samplers to input values and passed those width and height and number of frames, passed it to the sampler as the input value, and we got the load clips for text prompt. And there's some math for calculating that presentation, so here's my load video. This is one of the stock video examples that we're going to test. And let's make a very simple text prompt, a monkey dancing. Then hopefully, 
you know, the AI will understand that and make that character into a monkey dancing. Yeah. So the math formula in here is kind of wrong for different frames. So rather than using that demo presentation, I'm going to switch to only output my generated videos. So here we got a monkey texture like object. I'm not sure if that's really a monkey or not, but we got some fur of a monkey, but it's just basically a deformed object that acts like it's dancing, but it doesn't do that kind of style or motions. So that is the result of this video to video. I have no comments about that. In the meantime, while I was recording this, I was laughing like, and yeah, it's kind of fun to test out some local AI video models like this just for fun. I don't think at this stage of AI model development it can be brought to production. It's fun to locally install on your computer and play around with, make some funny clips. But for productions, I would, for AI video productions, maybe consider other online hosted platforms like Clean AI or Runway ML. Those are more reliable if you want to use AI videos for productions. So that's it for this video. If you want to play around with this AI video model, try it out, but don't expect too much. I'll see you in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.